Actually, can you move? Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Make it, she could put it on the pot. That's good. Oh, yeah, put it on the so, pot. So we can so see where the controller to... is. Here's how we control it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And watch the air con. You see? Air con. I'm going to kick in the air con. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. It works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick vid. Um, this little thingy here is the zero start water heater. It's uh, commonly used in America for heating up cars in colder climates. Oh, well, the engines in colder climates, so you know, they start in the morning and they don't freeze. Uh, this is a radiator core out of uh, Sparky. Um, as we can see, the wiring to the zero start is hooked up to Sparky and the old fuel pump from this Toyota Echo sitting over there is hooked up circulating the water around. Now I reckon you can see this if you look carefully you can see the steam coming up. This is incredible and it's 1500 watts and I think it's overkill. It's also drawing about 12 amps currently. Um, the heat coming off here is well it'll burn me if I could put my hand on there so um, yeah, experiment successful, I'd say. Oh, this? Oh, this is a, um, a big transistor. Basically, it's an IGBT, which is an insulated gate bipolar transistor. You um, connect up to a switch or a pot to control the amount of switching current that goes across here. And I could probably show you diagrammatically, which is sort of like you've got a base. You got your collector, uh, you got your emitter here, uh, and you got the little arrow here, which means it's an NPN type. And this is where the insulation is with the um, gate. So you can put that all in there, but the beauty of these things is that it has, and we can show in here, well, you can't really show in here, but in here there's a, a big chunky diode, which is what they call a freewheeling diode. And we'll go back to the diagram, I'll show you how that works in here, in the circuit. It just basically goes from the emitter to the collector, and the diode sits in that direction. And the beauty of these things is, is it, um, it stops um, flyback currents, which is like a reverse current when it's in switching operations. But the thing is, these can handle a lot of uh, power. They can handle like 800 amps, this particular one anyway. And you can get even bigger ones, which like got like two transistors embedded in it, kind of like um, a Darlington pair. And these are ideal for motor speed controllers, um, all kinds of switching applications. So a couple of these, probably three or four of these in parallel, could substitute for a, quite a lot of MOSFETs in a motor speed controller. And it's something that we could use in an electric car. Yeah. So now I've hooked up 36 volts to the motor and we'll see how many hertz we can get out of it. All right, I'm gonna switch on. Okay, as we can see, she's spinning up pretty hard. And we might be able to see here, we're just blocking about 100 and about 110 on average. Oh, now it's stabilized, going up. Let's say we'll round it off to about 120. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna shut down the IGBT. IGBT shuts it down. Do our calculation. Okay, so that was 120 divided by four because we have four little notches and times that by 60. 
equals 1800 RPM. Okay, so we're going to have to put a bit more into it. I've got a few more batteries. Um, I'll see if I can hook those up. Viewers, should I keep or get rid of the beard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of getting rid of it. Get rid of it, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. His yeah. hair. But it's cool, now I, can put, now I can comb my face and I can actually stick the brush in my beard and let go of it and it stays there. Uh, Mental. Jeez, <laughs> man, I just don't know. I don't know, mate, their beauty regime, it takes a lot. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha